Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Here is the scenario for this packet tracer activity. In this activity, uh, we must implement EIGRP for IPv4 and IPv6 on two separate networks. Our task includes enabling EIGRP, assigning router IDs, changing the hello timers, and limiting EIGRP advertisements. Here we can see the requirements EIGRP for IPv4. Implement EIGRP on IPv4 enabled routers using Autonomous System 1. Use a single classful network address to advertise the loopback interfaces. Use the wildcard mask to advertise the slash 30 networks between R1, R2 and IPv4 edge. Use the default passive interface method and only allow EIGRP updates out the active EIGRP serial interfaces. Right, so we will do this first. First of all, we will do it on R1. Coming to R1, CLI. Right. Enable configure terminal router. Oops, it's EIGRP. Autonomous system number is 1 as they specified. Now here we are going to set the passive interface as a default and we are going to set no passive interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we are going to give the network 172.31.0.0 now we will do it on the device R2 CLI Enable configure terminal router EIGRP1 passive interface default no passive interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and network 10.0.0.0 now we will do it on IPv4 edge Enable configure terminal router EIGRP1 passive interface default no passive interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 no passive interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we are going to give the network 172 dot 31 dot 6 or 6 dot 0 and to the wildcard bits 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 3 the next network 10 dot 10 dot 8 dot 0 and to the wildcard bits 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 3 Next is the configure a directly attached default root on IPv4 edge and propagate it in EIGRP updates. Right. So coming to the router uh, IPv4 edge. Here we are going to give IP root 0 .0 0.0.0.0 space 0 .0 .0 .0. And we have to specify the exit interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Right now we will go to router EIGRP1 and we have to give the command to redistribute static. Yes. Next is configure the serial interfaces between R1, R2, and IPv4 edge to send hellos every 10 seconds. Right, so we will do it uh, uh, on R1 first. We will exit and here we will go to the interface so serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we will set the IP hello interval EIGRP1 
seconds between hello transmissions are specified 10. Coming to uh, the router R2. Exit, we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and we are going to set the IP hello interval for EIGRP and the autonomous system number 1 the seconds between hello transmissions uh, as specified it's 10 coming to IPv4 edge router we will go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP hello interval EIGRP 110. Now we will go to the interface uh, serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash uh, 1 and IP hello interval EIGRP autonomous 1 and here we have to give the seconds uh, 10. Next is R1 and R2 should have a default route in the routing table. Right, we will verify that. Coming to R1. Show IP route. Yes, here we can see that. Coming to R2. show IP root and here we can see that next is a verify R1 and R2 can ping the IPv4 server IPv4 server should also be able to ping every loopback address on R1 and R2 we will get the IP address of IPv4 server We'll copy this address. Coming to R1. Ping to IPv4 server. Yes, success rate is 80%. Now it's 100%. Right. Coming to R2. Ping to the server. Yes, it's success. Also, we can ping from IPv4 server uh, to this loopback interfaces uh, on this R1 and R2 router. Uh, we will try that uh, coming to IPv4 server command prompt. Here we will give ping to 172.31.0.1. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will uh, ping a loopback interface address on R2. Right, ping 10.10.0.1. Yes, we are getting the replay. Next is EIGRP for IPv6. Implement EIGRP for IPv6 on the IPv6 enabled routers using autonomous system 1. Assign IPv6 edge with the router ID of 1.1.1.1. Assign R3 with the router ID 3.3.3.3. Assign R4 with the router ID of 4.4.4.4. Coming to IPv6 edge router. CLI. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give IPv6 uh, unicast routing now IPv6 uh, router EIGRP1 and EIGRP router ID 1.1.1.1 and we will give no shut command now we will uh, go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give IPv6 EIGRP1. Now we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. 
and IPv6 EIGRP1. Now we will do it on R3. Enable configure terminal. Here we have to give IPv6 a unique as routing. Now we will give IPv6 a router EIGRP1 and now we will set the EIGRP router ID 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. And we will give no shut command. Now we will go to the interface uh, loopback 0. And we will give IPv6 EIGRP1. Now we will go to loopback 1. And we will give EIGRP1. Right ne next we will go to the next uh, loopback and IPv6 EIGRP1 and the last one loopback 3 IPv6 EIGRP1 and now we will uh, go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 EIGRP1 Coming to the router R4. Enable configure terminal. Here we have to give IPv6 a unicast routing. Now we will go to IPv6 router EIGRP1 and we have to set the router ID EIGRP router ID 4.4.4.4. .4 .4 .4. Now we will give the no shut command. Now we will go to the interface uh, loopback uh, loop uh, 8. We can verify that. Uh, so we will give do show IP interface brief. And here we can see it's uh, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Right. We will do that. Interface uh, loopback 8. IPv6 EIGRP1 next is loopback 9 IPv6 EIGRP1 loopback 10 IPv6 EIGRP1 and we got one more that is loopback 11 IPv6 EIGRP1 and we have physical interface uh, that is uh, interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IPv6 EIGRP1 Next is uh, configure a directly attached default route on IPv6 edge and propagate it in EIGRP updates now we are going to uh, configure a directly attached default route uh, on this uh, router uh, IPv6 edge. So here we can see the exit interface serial 0 slash uh, 1 slash 0. Right, we will come to this router. Here we are going to set IPv6 uh, route double colon slash 0 the interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 IPv6 router EIGRP1 and now we have to give the command redistribute static so that propagate it in EIGRP updates Next is R3 and R4 should show a default external route in the routing table Right, we will verify that. First, we will check on R3. Show IPv6 route. Yes, here we can see that. Coming to R4. Show IPv6 route. Yes, here we can see that. 
coming to the last part to verify R3 and R4 can ping the IPv6 server. IPv6 server should also be able to ping every loopback address on R3 and R4. We will ping from uh, R3 to this IPv6 server. Uh, we will get the IP IPv6 address of this uh, server coming to R3 ping IPv6 server address yes success rate is 100% coming to R4 ping IPv6 server address yes success rate is 100% now we will ping from this IPv6 server uh, to this loopback interface address uh, on R3 and R4. Uh, first of all, we will uh, ping to the loopback interface address on R3. We will uh, ping to this address, uh, first address 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 1 colon a000 double colon 1. Alright, coming to our IPv6 server. yes we are getting the replay now we will uh, ping to uh, the loopback interface address on r4 so here we have to change the address it's bb80 yes we are getting the replay yes that's all here we can see suggested scoring uh, packet tracer does not currently grade EIGRP for IPv6 summary route so therefore uh, part of your grade uh, depends on a routing table verification uh, by your instructor okay here uh, anyway uh, it's a 90 out of uh, 90 well so in this video we have seen the packet tracer activity uh, skills integration challenge uh, friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and finally don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you